Hey, what's up guys? Philip here bringing you a comparison video and today we're going to be comparing Logitech's new MX Anywhere 3 versus the regular Anywhere 2 mouse. And this mouse already came out many years ago and it's kind of a little outdated, but to be fair, I personally don't think the old version is outdated, but I do think that the new version is better. And I did find that there were five main differences between the new version and the old one. Now the first differences we're going to talk about are the design and as you can see here I do have the stone color for the Anywhere 2 and on the new one I have the white color and there are a uh, different color of shades here but that's not really a difference between the two mice that's just the color you decided to select. However in terms of the actual shape itself it does look different on top the sides and pretty much every angle of the mouse. Version 2 had a more edgy look to it and all of the corners were were like sharper and aggressive looking and with the new version you have a more soft finish and pretty much all of the corners and edges are rounded out and soft looking. On the sides of the mice you can see that there are different gripping patterns. Now on the old one we have this polygon triangular gripping shape which is pretty cool looking and on the new one we have this like subtle line wavy pattern. I personally found that with a new wavy line pattern that the gripping experience was better because your thumb directly grips onto the lines as opposed to with the polygon version. It just looks cool but it doesn't provide as good of a gripping experience as the new version 3 mouse does. And then in terms of the gripping experience, if you look on the side where your thumb kind of goes near the two buttons, uh, I found that on the new version it kind of angles out more slightly than the older version. So your thumb lays a little bit easier on the new version than it does on the old version because of that arc slash angle. The second difference between the both of these mice are the side buttons. Now the side buttons on the older one are larger than the new one, but I found that because they were larger, they weren't as easy to click, not because of the button size, but more so because of the position of them. On the old version of the mouse, version two, the bu side buttons were positioned higher and at an angle where the mouse bulges out. However, on the third version, the buttons were placed really flat near the grip where your thumb kind of lays and it was a lot easier to access the side buttons on the new version than it was on the older version. So in terms of the actual gripping experience and the ergonomics of how these mice feel when they're being used, I would say the third one is improved by quite a bit. At least for me personally, this one felt a lot more natural and easier to use than the version two. Now the next difference between version two and version three was the charging cable required for these mice. With the old version, you have to use a micro USB-A cable in order to charge this thing. And on the new version, you're gonna be using the latest technology and that's gonna be USB-C, which is gonna provide for a quicker charging time. So less waiting when your mouse is actually dead. I personally don't have any micro USB cables on my desk setup. So it's a little inconvenient for me to charge this mouse if I were to use it because pretty much all of my cables and ports are ready regular USB or USB-C that like the Logitech MX Anywhere 3 mouse has. So definitely convenient not to have that extra cable if a lot of your tech is newer. Now the fourth difference between the both of these mice is gonna be the scroll wheel. Now on the old version, you have unlimited scroll and clicky scroll, but the way they were doing it was through gears and pretty much using friction. Now on version three, you're also gonna have the ability to have it clicky or unlimited, but the difference is it's gonna be using magnets to slow slow it down or speed up the scrolling experience. With the third version, you can turn the unlimited scroll on and off using the middle mouse button here, or you can do it in the software and you can basically tell the software to scroll automatically if you flick the scroll wheel hard enough, or if you're scrolling slowly, it'll just be in that clicky scroll mode. So a really cool feature by Logitech. Now here's a little scroll test difference for you guys to hear what the scroll wheels actually sound like. So here's what the uh, version two sounds like. You can hear that it's really clicky and loud. And the new one, this one sounds really cool. So here's what this one sounds like.
Really cool stuff. It sounds like it's like a spaceship or something. I'm definitely a fan of this one. And it feels a lot more smooth too. Now the fifth and final difference between the both of these mice are gonna be the scroll wheels, but more specifically the tilts that they have. Now on the old version, you have these little arrows on the scroll wheel that allow you to do left tilt and right tilt. And this is gonna be useful if you wanna do some horizontal scrolling, or you can program these in the Logitech software to open and close specific apps or do many different types of shortcuts in the Logitech software. Now on the new version, version three, this one is not gonna have a left and right um, scroll wheel tilt, which means you're gonna be missing two buttons. But what it does have that the old version doesn't have is a middle mouse button. Because the new version is missing the scroll wheel tilt, doesn't mean that you'll lose the ability to have horizontal scrolling. What Logitech did in order to think this through a little is if you hold the forward button and scroll at the same time, that's gonna enable horizontal scrolling. But if you do the regular scroll wheel, that's gonna enable just regular vertical scrolling. So good job on Logitech for thinking it through and having a lot of features and being innovative while using less materials on the mouse. I did say that there were five differences and I decided to throw in a bonus one and this one may or may not matter to some people so I figured I'd throw it in anyway. And that's gonna be the loudness levels of these clickers. I found that version two, the older one, is quieter than the version three. So here's a little click test for you guys to hear how loud, how the loudness difference between the both of these mice. So here's version two. Here's version three. Version two, version three. Now it may or may not be noticeable on the microphone too much. It might be hard to kind of detect the volume levels or rather the, how loud the clickers are. But in person, you can really hear the difference and it just feels like the old one is a little more subtle than the new one. Both of these mice are amazing and offer a lot of great features. However, if I personally were to choose one of these mice, I would probably go with version three, mainly because I really like this max speed scroller. It feels good, it feels clean, and I'm personally a bigger fan of the design language that the new one has over the old one. Oh, and one more thing, I do like the gripping experience more on this one too. It feels more ergonomic and it feels easier to click these side buttons while actually using the mouse. The old one is still good as well, and I could definitely use this as a portable mouse. I wouldn't complain. But after seeing this one, and if I had a choice, I would just go with the third one. If you wanna see an in-depth review of the Logitech MX Anywhere 3 mouse, I did that recently, so make sure you check that out before deciding on whether you should purchase this. And if you are interested in purchasing any of these mice, I'm gonna leave links down in the description below pointing to Amazon to each of these mice. And with that being said, if you wanna stay in the loop with the latest tech coming out, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you up to date. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you in the next one.